Hello, my name is Emily. Thank you for joining me today for some yoga. In today's yoga, we'll focus primarily on the shoulders just to bring us a little bit more mm, mobility, flexibility, and ease while moving through here. So focusing throughout here. I do want to stress though that this, this is your practice and you know your body best. So please do whatever feels best for your body. So if at any time something sounds like it could be uncomfortable or painful, please don't do it. Listen to yourself and your intuition. All right, so to get started, let's give ourselves a little bit of love, just lifting one hand. And uh, rubbing here. And the opposite hand. And sometimes just bringing attention to your body like this uh, is a signal to your body to send more blood to help ease with any tension throughout there. Let's inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Dropping your hands in your lap, starting with some shoulder circles. We'll do everything for about a count of three inhales and three exhales. Let's inhale, squeezing our shoulders up to our ears. So first, I invite you to come into tabletop position. Now for this one, since we are focusing on the shoulder, instead of kind of slumping into it, we do want to focus on pushing into the ground, pushing your body up so you're grounding through your hands, through your knees, and then and your legs. And then inhaling, let's drop the belly to the ground, lifting the head towards the sky. Exhaling opposite, bringing your back to the sky, your head towards the ground. Following your breath. Checking in, making sure you're pushing into the ground. Continue your pushing with your hands. And from here, from our tabletop position, let's move into needle pose. Now for needle pose, let's inhale, one hand floating up, and then exhale, bringing your hand through. Now, careful, what I see often is people collapse onto their shoulder, and then the hip falls, which is fine, but try to experiment and see how it feels to bring your hips square. Of course, that means your shoulder won't be as far down, but give that a try. Let's inhale, releasing. Inhale, opposite hand. Threading through. Now again, instead of collapsing down, bring your shoulder out slightly, lifting your shoulder and your hips. Pushing through your hand on the ground, if need be. So experiment with that movement and see what feels good for you. Coming out. Now from here, let's swing around into our tabletop position. And you can either push back into child's pose, keeping your hands out and active in front of you, really stretching through that shoulder area. Or if you'd like to do more of a puppy pose, you can be right on your knees and coming down into puppy. Listening to your body, doing what's best for you. Pushing back into child's pose, I'll just release my hands, giving my shoulder a break for a moment. Bringing yourself up. Perhaps you're on your knees. Perhaps you're in a comfortable seated position. I'd like to show you three variations for eagle pose. So one way, we'll inhale an arm up, bring it across, 
and catch it with the elbow. The second way is coming up so the back of your hands are together. The third way is bringing the palms of your hands together. Releasing down. Now let's go for the other side. Catching it with your elbow. So this is variation one. Perhaps you bring your hands, the back of the palms together. Variation two. Or if you'd like to bring your palms together, twisting your hands around each other. Variation three. Let's release out of here, clasping hands behind your back and bringing your hands to the ground, opening through the shoulders and just relaxing out of eagle pose. Now let's inhale, bringing one hand up, making a 90 degree angle with our elbow and then clasping it with our other hand. And now here, we're leaning slightly to the side, but instead of focusing on my lower back section, I'm focusing more on my shoulders. So giving yourself a gentle pull, and listening to your body. If it feels like it's too much, please feel free to release or, or skip this position completely. Opposite side, 90 degree angle, clasping it, and again, we're just leaning slightly to the side, focusing on the shoulder, so perhaps you're giving your wrist a gentle pull with your opposite hand, and if it doesn't feel good, feel free to skip. Now for the last pose, for this one, you can check in before you ever start the sequence to see where your comfort, le comfort level is. And perhaps the sequence will help you feel a little looser, have a little less tension. So one thing you can try is just bringing your hands behind your back, seeing how comfortable this is. So this is one position, just coming here, another position, Let's come in here. The third option is trying to clasp the elbows. And lastly, if you'd like to try, you could try squeezing the palms of your hands together, working on those shoulders. Releasing the pose that felt best for you. Ah, coming into a comfortable seated position. We got started with our big shoulder circles. So let's end with our big shoulder circles. Up, back, and down. And let's inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. We'll inhale, bringing the shoulders up, squeezing your ears. Let's inhale, bringing the hands together over the head. And exhale, palms in front of the heart. May you move throughout the week with ease, grace, and joy. <sighs>